Is the Bitcoin price bullish or bearish? Are we topping out and getting ready for a large correction? Or are we simply consolidating under an all-time high to head up to the next level? Let's talk about it. Box trading. I'm your host JT and here on the channel we focus on Bitcoin fundamental and technical analysis and in today's video we're going to talk about Bitcoin. I want to talk about the mid-term range, uh, the medium time frame, about four hour chart and really dissect what I'm seeing in the charts and how I am incredibly bullish on the price of Bitcoin as it stands right now. So let's get into it. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a Wyckoff chart, but I have prepared a beautiful Wyckoff reaccumulation here for you, and I'm going to break it down. Before I get into the Wyckoff stuff, because if you're not a Wyckoff trader, a lot, all of these notes are not going to make any sense to you. So I'm going to first just go through it very simply and just categorize some of the key things that I think are really important to note and why I'm so bullish on this chart. This is a very healthy consolidation where the reactions are decreasing. So we've got a 20% reaction here. We have a nine, we'll call it a 10% reaction here. And we have an 8% reaction here. So the reactions are getting less severe, okay? When we couple that with the inverse, the rallies are getting stronger. So we have a 10% rally here. We have a 13% rally here. We have another 13% rally here. So the reactions are getting weaker, meaning the bears are getting weaker, sellers are getting exhausted, and the bulls are showing up and they're showing up in a very consistent way. Now we can also see that the bulls are showing up to create a higher low structure. So you can see we have a low, we have a higher low, and we have a higher low. And I'm gonna get into this, these demand tails down here when we talk about uh, the Wyckoff uh, setup here. So higher lows, higher highs throughout the consolidation. This is not anything bearish. This is very bullish, I'm excited. Now, before I get into the Wyckoff chart, I want to first talk about what I would be looking for to change my bias and actually become bearish on this consolidation. For me to become bearish, I need us, I need to see us take out uh, this, this current local low, okay? We came pretty close, but we didn't take it out. We have a higher high. So until we can take out this low at uh, 64,457, I'm going to remain bullish. But if we did take out that low, get a bearish retest and come back down to here, um, my bias would be neutral at this support level. So as if we're maintaining this support level, my bias is no longer bullish, it is neutral. But if we did lose this level, I would become bearish and we'd probably find some support down here at the lower 50s to the upper 40s. Okay, so now that the bearish stuff is out of the way, let's break this chart down in terms of a Wyckoff reaccumulation pattern. Okay, so here is our Wyckoff reaccumulation pattern. As you can see, the distinction of this reaccumulation, this is what's classified as a reaccumulation with uprise. So it's an accumulation structure with rising bottoms. This is the strongest type of reaccumulation. So this structure will exhibit higher highs and higher lows, which it has. It's doing higher highs and higher lows. And this can also sometimes be confused with the topping range. A lot of people are bearish. They're looking at all of the reasons why this could go to the downside. A lot of people are applying uh, bearish metrics to this. So obviously the market is very confused as to whether this is a topping pattern or not. Now we can break down some of the signs here. So this is a PSY. This stands for preliminary supply. So this is at the end of a rally. Once the whales start to sell, once the composite operator starts to sell and starts initially uh, putting supply into the market, you get a little bit of a stall that's when most of the volume that's when the highest volume signatures typically happen and you can see both of these volume signatures right here showing a lot of supply entering the market you'll notice that for the rest of the cons consolidation the volume is declining with the exception of the spring we'll get to that in just a moment so once the whales and the composite operator have taken their profits that doesn't stop price because Selling is not what brings price down. Supply being digested by the market is what brings price down. So as long as people are willing to pay higher prices for Bitcoin, you do continue to get a rally. 
That brings us to our buyer's climax, the BC. The buyer's climax is hit. We then get a really severe market shakeout. This was a 20% move. A lot of people got really scared when this happened, so it shook out a lot of people from their positions. You might have been shaken out yourself. And then we begin a trading range. The trading range is, just, is uh, characterized by these three points. The shakeout or seller's climax, the automatic rally, and the secondary test. So once we have three, these three points, we can identify the trading range. You can see that over here we had an overthrow and you can see that down here where I have it LPS, but we're gonna change that. Uh, we also have an overthrow to the downside. What's really bullish to me and what I'm currently watching out for is this LPS, which could potentially turn into a spring. Now, what a spring is, is it's when we come out of the bottom of the trading range, we get bought back in, retest the range and immediately go to the top of the top of the channel breaking out into our sign of strength if we see this price action where we come back into the range we get a test and we rally taking out this high i think that this consolidation is going to break out and we are going to probably go to prices higher than 80 maybe 100 no kidding we might even get to a hundred thousand dollars in one move within a few days all of this can happen pre-having as well so please you know pay attention to this chart nothing is confirmed yet this is just what i'm watching if you want to follow along on this i only release these types of videos uh, every couple of days if you want to follow along on on this chart and see how it progresses in the discord you're definitely going to want to click the qr code that's popping up on the screen right now or you can also check the links down below so that you can get into the free discord server so that's it that's what i'm seeing do you agree do you disagree am i missing something entirely let me know your thoughts below and if you enjoyed this content please leave it a like don't forget to subscribe and until next time please trade safe it is jungle out there peace